Hi, I'm Prasad Rao. I'm a senior solution architect at AWS. In this video, we will see how to use Porting Assistant for .NET to assess and port a legacy .NET framework application to .NET 5. .NET 5 was released on November 10th, 2020. When we talk to our customers, they are excited about the .NET 5 improvements over its predecessor .NET Core 3.1. Customers are looking forward to modernize their existing legacy applications to .NET 5 and take advantage of the performance, cost savings, and robust ecosystem of Linux. To help customers accelerate migrating their legacy apps to .NET 5, Porting Assistant for .NET have added support for .NET 5. Porting Assistant for .NET is an open source analysis tool that scans .NET framework applications and generates a .NET Core or .NET 5 compatibility assessment, helping you port your applications to Linux faster. If you haven't used Porting Assistant for .NET before, I will recommend you to get started by watching the video walkthrough of the features of the assistant on YouTube. The link is included in the description. In the walkthrough video, to demonstrate porting .NET Framework application to .NET Core 3.1, an open source e-commerce application called KnobCommerce is used. It is available on GitHub and latest version of KnobCommerce has already been ported to .NET Core. For the demo, an older version, release 3.a, is used as application. At that time was based on ASP.NET and .NET Framework version 4.5.1. We will use the same older version of the Knob Commerce application to showcase the .NET 5 compatibility assessment. To get started, download the latest version of the tool from the product page. You can download the MSI and install on your Windows machine. Please ensure the prerequisites for the tool are configured before installing the tool. You can check the prerequisites in the product user guide. I already have the prerequisites configured and the tool installed on my machine. Also, as I'll be doing .NET 5 compatibility assessment for a .NET Framework 4.5.1 application, I have both .NET Framework 4.5.1 and .NET 5 installed on my machine. When the tool is launched for the first time, we land on the Assistant home page and I'm going to click Get Started to begin the assessment. Before we begin the assessment, the assistant asked me to update some global settings. First, it asked me to select the target version to which I want to port my application to. As mentioned earlier, with .NET 5 announced, AWS has added the support in Porting Assistant for tool for .NET 5. So we can see .NET 5 as one of the options for the target framework. The other option is .NET Core 3.1 and .NET Standard 2.1.0. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to choose .NET 5 as target framework. Now, secondly, it asks me to select a credential profile. I already have one set up as described in the prerequisites. So I'm going to select the same and proceed. To assess solution, I will start by clicking on assess a new solution. I already have the Knob Commerce source repository cloned from GitHub on my local machine and I have checked out the tag that is associated with version 3.8.0. So let me go ahead and select the same to start the assessment. Assessment of a solution takes few minutes depending upon the number of projects and files that it needs to analyze. I'll pause the video for it to complete the assessment. Okay, the assessment is now completed. Let us look into the results. For each SS solution, the porting assistant shows the number of ported projects, incompatible NuGet packages, incompatible APIs, and the portability score. The portability score indicates how portable the application is. It is represented as a percentage ratio of compatible APIs to non-compatible APIs within the solution. The higher the score, the less effort 
will be required to complete the porting. Let us dive deep into the solution assessment details by clicking on solution name. The solution assessment page again shows the overall results including the score. Further gives insights into the assessment data through the five tabs. Let's look into each of the tab. The first tab is the projects tab. It lists the projects included in your solution. For each of the projects, you can also see the target framework, number of reference projects, number of incompatible packages, the number of incompatible APIs, portability score, and the port status, whether it is ported or not ported. Next is Project References tab. It provides a graphical user interface that helps visualize project dependencies within a solution, making it easier to assess the impact of changes at a solution level. Select a node in a graph to review your selected project dependencies. Moving on to the NuGet Packages tab. It helps users to identify the NuGet packages that are compatible and not compatible with .NET 5 and their replacement suggestions. For example, it shows AutoMapper as compatible and yet it suggests a replacement. And if you see AutoFAC, it is incompatible and the replacement is suggested. Then we have APIs tab. It shows all the API calls and their compatibility statuses. In practice, this step is performed during the porting instead of the assessment. This is because of the manual effort and knowledge required to search through the code to find incompatible APIs. Knowing this level of information at the assessment stage helps in accurate effort estimations. The final tab, Source Files, lists all source files in the solution with the number of incompatible API calls over the total number of API calls for each source file and the portability score for the source file. You can select a source file to view the incompatible API calls and the replacement suggestions in the source code. Now that we have looked into the assessment data, let us proceed with porting the projects to .NET 5. There are many repetitive tasks involved in porting, like making all project files compatible with .NET 5 and updating the third-party and internal packages with .NET 5 equivalents. Porting Assistant automates these tasks, reducing the manual effort. Depending upon the complexity of the ported application, you can choose to either port one project at a time and progress iteratively or port the entire application and resolve all incompatibilities in one step. For the purpose of this demo, I am going to choose one project and port it. Let me select knob.admin and click on port project. It prompts us to choose the porting location. The first option is copy to new location that allows you to choose a new location when you want to save the porting result. The second option is to modify source in place which overrides the existing code base. I'll select the modify source in place option to compare changes using the git version control system. When we use Assistant to port projects, the code is not refactored. The relevant project files are updated to the format compatible with new target framework version, which is .NET 5 in our case. Additionally, the packages are upgraded to the latest compatible version based on your selection. We can use the replacement suggestions provided in the NuKit package tab and the deprecated API calls for each of the versions 
to decide which version of the package to upgrade to. For example, for AutoFAC, I am going to choose the latest version as no API calls have been deprecated. For AutoMapper, I will be choosing 9.0.0 as the version above that have deprecated API calls. As this is just a demo, I will not upgrade the other NuKit packages. Clicking port starts the process of updating the project file. I am going to pause the video for the porting of the project to complete. Now the porting is complete and we can see one project is ported. We can click on the solution and see the port status of the nop.admin as ported. We can verify these file changes that are made automatically by Porting Assistant. The Git Changes tool window inside the Visual Studio shows the packages.config has been removed as it is not used in .NET 5. Additionally, there are changes within the assembly info and csproj file to make it compatible with .NET 5. Let's look at the project file changes. In particular, I can see in the project file that has been converted to the newer and simpler .NET 5 format. The target framework has been set to .NET 5. Also, I can see my NuGet packages have been upgraded to the latest versions as I have selected. Scrolling further, I can see that the assistant also removed the list of source files as these are not required to be included in the .NET 5 project files. So that was the example of how to get started with porting a project. As mentioned earlier, we can see the port status indicates the project file has been ported. When a project is ported, it may not be entirely .NET 5 compatible because there may be other APIs packages and code blocks that must be substituted and refactored for compatibility. At this point, the developer needs to fix the remaining build errors by doing the changes manually. And this process continues until the whole collection of projects in the solution have been ported. So to summarize, in this video, we have seen how Porting Assistant can help in migrating legacy .NET Framework applications to newly released .NET 5. To get started, download the updated tool from the product homepage. Thank you.